and 11 a.m. start, the Rockets needing their fans to bring the energy today against Western Michigan. But it's the Broncos wide awake to start. Hannah Spitzley clangs it from beyond the arc. Western sunk eight threes in the first half as Toledo was down nine. Late in the first, Sophia Wired pushing the pace to Quenisha Lockett. The MAC Players of the Year make it a two-point game. Second quarter, Kira Goss coming in clutch, scoring all 12 of her points before intermission. But Toledo down double digits at the break, so the Rockets talk it over and find their mojo in the third quarter. Emmy Renat pokes it away, and she'll go all the way for the lay-in as suddenly the game is tied. Igniters, they're grooving in the stands, and so are the Rockets. The lo Locket in the corner buries the three. She had a team-high 19 as Toledo was up by five. Sammy McConowitz then playing in the post. A tough hoop down low. That's two of her 12 as Toledo pulls away in the fourth to win 72-61, outscoring the Broncos 40 to 19 in the second half. Mark Coons has more from Cleveland. To quote Yogi Berra, it's deja vu all over again for the Toledo women's basketball team. A year ago, the Rockets rode a 13 game winning streak into the MAC tournament and needed overtime to get past the eight seed Buffalo. Well, this season, once again, Toledo 13 straight wins coming into the postseason and Western Michigan gave them a scare as the Rockets trailed by 10 at the half but UT relied on their maturity to turn up the defensive intensity in the second half. Just got up in defense a little bit more, you know, put a little pressure on them, stopped them from shooting the three, run them off the line so they had to get to the uh, to the basket instead of shooting those threes. But, uh, you know, just coming together and realizing who we are. But I was so proud of our players for settling in the second half and, and having such great poise, and I think that comes with experience. We've got veterans. These kids have been with us for a long time, and they didn't get rattled. After shooting 50% from the floor in the first half, Broncos just 32% in the second half as Toledo turned 15 turnovers into 25 points. I think we just picked up our energy, um, got in the gaps. We were, again, hands up on the shooters, not letting them get what they wanted. And then once we pick up our uh, defensive energy, that helps us flow into our offense and get out in transition um, and get those open shots. And then once it starts going, like it's not stopping it. Like The energy's up, and we're going to keep it going. Every time out, we just talked about let's chip into this lead. Uh, and this group hasn't been behind a lot this year. Uh, they've done an amazing job of being on top. So to have to respond to a different situation um, was, was good for them uh, because in tournament play, you never know what's ahead. And to know that, you know, we can be resilient and overcome an obstacle and, and not be yelling at each other and all those kind of things, but yet just pull together. I think that's, I think our chemistry showed, our trust showed, and that's a, that's a great quality. And that's why this team's won so many games. A day after winning MAC Player of the Year, Sophia Wired demonstrating exactly why she won it. 12.7 rebounds and six assists. It's so nice when you've got a veteran point guard that really gets it. And I thought she did a wonderful job of executing the things that we asked her to do. Uh, I, I let her have some free reign uh, a lot tonight, and I thought she made some wonderful decisions. Coach told me before she told everybody else um, of actually like just me and Sammy in the room. So I had a little moment to think about it, you know, um, kind of alone and then the team hyped me up. Um, it was crazy, um, but I, I have really good teammates that make me look good, so I was glad to share that moment with them, but really grateful. It's a crazy accomplishment. Not only have the Rockets now won 14 in a row, it is 12 straight by at least double digits after the 11-point win over Western Michigan. In Cleveland, Mark Kutz, BCSN.